everyone, Justin here, Forbes, Heaver, and Wallace. We are in the test kitchen today for our Small Bites video segment, which is a video segment we do where we break down an interesting food service related article. And today I'm breaking down an article I found on FCSI.com about a consulting group based in Atlanta. And they helped their customers a couple of months ago deal with the uncertainty and adjustments that had to be made during the height of the pandemic. Now this article is actually a short article about a series of videos. So that's right, I'm doing a video about an article that's about videos, it's like Inception. So the, one of the main points that they talked about first was about menu adjustment. And a lot of times restaurants have a set menu, they have loss leaders on their menu that don't do very well, but they have them on there because someone's coming in to order the chicken once in a while. Restaurants and food service establishments really need to rethink what their menu looks like and really tighten up all aspects of the menu to make sure that they are getting the best bang for their buck with the ingredients that they buy. And speaking of the ingredients that they buy, sourcing. Restaurants need to make sure that they maximize where they're getting their food from to make sure that they're not spending any extra money or they're not putting themselves in a position where they might not be able to get a certain ingredient because it's hard to come by across the country or even globally. We were all used to going out for lunch every day if we worked in an office building, but that's not necessarily the case anymore. So rethinking about where your money comes from, what type of customer is actually buying your food, and how that ties back into your menu. Some restaurants have food that is great if you're at the restaurant, but unfortunately it just doesn't travel super well, something like fresh pasta, for example. So it's forcing customers to think about their menu, their sourcing, and then the current people that are buying and how they're buying their food, and that's gonna force them to kind of adjust about how you need to rethink your menu and what new items you might need to put on the menu or items that you need to take off. All right, everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Small Bites where we break down an interesting article related to the food service industry. Be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube and all over social media. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.